if you know you have to of paprika and tomatoes at home you have a lot of it and you don't know how to prepare it or what you to do with it this video is for you you come and you don't have to waste your paprika prepare it like this save it with some potatoes or rice pinch of salt two minutes i'm quite sure the flavor of the olive oil is not there any longer so if you know you can't withstand the flavor of the olive oil that's the secret start with your onion and next is my colored pepper and my red again i said this is vegetable the slices they are really big I will also fry this one for one minute. I don't want to over fry the, the vegetables for now, but I don't want it brown or stock. And then next is my tomato. fresh ginger if you have dry ginger it's still good to go give it a gentle stir so I'm cooking on medium low heat again my sliced leeks for another flavor and coloring and then I'll cover for my tomatoes to cook for a while. So I will just cook for two to three minutes so that the ginger and the tomatoes will cook together. So after a while, I open it. It is so while that was going on, I was boiling my beef inside. So now I'm adding it my boiled beef. See how nice it is. So now, mark you, I haven't added any water, it's just the water from the tomatoes. So I will cover again and steam everything for two minutes. After two minutes, my paprika sauce is ready. The aroma is given. Wow, see the color. And now it's serving time. I'm going to taste it. You can also serve this delicious vegetable with some rice, with some spaghetti or boiled potatoes or even boiled plantains it is good to go so thank you guys for watching and i hope you will give this a try paprika cooked with tomato sauce without water bye for now